Welcome everybody to another episode of Coding with Ado. Today we are going to connect to Jamendo. Jamendo is a project that can go and connect to get copyright free music and we are going to connect to them using Node.js. Um, this is part of the project that I'm building right now where I grab <coughs> stock videos, add some music, add some text, add some text to script, text to pitch, um, and yeah, I'm making automatic videos for uploading later to YouTube or Vimeo, etc. So I'm doing the whole process. Uh, so yeah, let's go and connect to Jamend right now. Okay. So as always, let's create the package. By the way, all these things that I have been doing, I've been pushing them to npm packages, so you can find them on npm shares, uh, and you can install them. Okay, so feel free to do that. Okay, so we have the package. Let's create. We're gonna use an API key, so npm i dot n. We're gonna use two things here. We're gonna use the fs. And I'm gonna use for this specific project HTTPS. Okay, uh, I love using HTTPS for streaming uh, files because the idea here is not just to get the to get the 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 file from Jamendo, but also download it into our folder. Okay. So let's get started. Let's create the .env and let's create the index.js. Okay, so we're gonna cost HTTPS equals to require HTTPS. We're gonna do a cost um, fs equals to require fs, cost um, require.env.config. Okay, perfect. So now let's get started. We're gonna do two functions here. We're gonna do a sync function get music URL. Okay, we're gonna send here the type of music. We're gonna send the key. Oh, actually, let's send first the key, then the type of music, the genre it's gonna be, you know, genre. But it's let's do it tired. Um, I think, yeah, I think that's it. Um, so this function is gonna do a try catch. A console dot error error. Okay. Okay, so we uh, let's actually use everything on HTTPS instead of going to a uh, fetch HTTPS. So let's use the same library for everything here. Okay, so let's do HTTPS get, and we're gonna need the URL, which is gonna be HTTPS API dot com slash. We're going to use the endpoint called track. Um, so it's going to be the version 3.0 of the Jamendo tracks. And we're going to send the client ID here, which is going to be our API key. Okay. We're going to send the format to be JSON. We're gonna send the limit to be one because we want this automatically. We are gonna send that we only want um, instrumental, okay? And let's now add the uh, search term, which will be our genre which is going to be the type, okay? Um, 
Okay, perfect. So let's do const a request equals to an await of its DPS. Okay, because of course it's asynchronous. Um, let's now do um, uh, yeah no let's let's do this differently. So let's actually create a function uh, that we call get JSON. Okay, this function will be the await async of HDBS because we cannot do this this way. Okay, we do do like a do it here like an await get JSON from this thing. Okay, this will receive the URL and in here the idea is that we need to create a promise so we're gonna we're gonna do a return new promise and where we have the resolve reject okay and then we will do like https.get with the url and the response and then we'll do like a resolve reject here the response right so we are gonna do like a let data is equals to an empty string let's do a response on data so whenever we get a response from the streaming we are gonna transform that into chunks and add the data into the chunk so the things that it's streaming the response, not like just one response directly. So it's like going and just sending it to you. So in order to get that in an await, we have to wait that until all of that information gets processed and then it returns. Okay. So um, we have also the error, so the response, uh, sorry, the end and the rear. So response on end. We're gonna do a um, uh, try catch, try catch of the error console dot error error. Okay, and in the try we have the resolve json dot parse the data okay and then we have of course the owner of this so on error we're gonna do a result a uh, reject with the error okay so now we have an uh, an await from HTTPS so we always use the same thing you know so let's try this out. I already added a console log here and a key. I'll show you how to get our key and you know press that then. But I wanted to do some testing here. Okay, perfect. So it works. We have the jamendo thing. Okay, we have a jamendo with just one. You can see it's a bit just and you have the audit on load which is the one that we actually need so let's just return that okay so let's go here and let's do return request uh, dot results i index zero and let's grab the audio download okay so let's do this again. Actually, const audio to download equals to that. Console log audio to download. Um, What are we missing here? Oh, that's empty. Okay, let's try again. 
Okay, so there are some times that there is no audio, so let's actually do a recursiveness see, see here, so we always have a response. So if there's not audio download, then return await get music URL with the same key and type. This is really, really dangerous. Do not do this on your projects. I'm just doing this because I tested it that sometimes some of the music you from Jamendo comes to empty. So yeah, I'm just doing that. So we avoid those empty results. Okay. So let's try that out again. And you see sometimes it takes some more time because it's actually getting and recording, recording, recording until we have an answer, okay? So now all the time we have an answer. Sometimes they say because I'm just searching for the same thing. I'm searching for uh, jazz music here, okay? So uh, let's actually move this to a process.m.token or jamina.token. Okay, Jamendo token. Let's do Jamendo token. Okay. Equals to. So the idea for us to get the Jamendo token, we need to go to Jamendo.com. So we go here to Jamendo.com. Actually, you, go, you can go to the developer.jamendo.com. You go to your account. You go to create an application, and uh, yeah, I have here my my key, but you can create a new application, and basically just add like add all these things, non-commercial, for example, platform device, etc. Um, and yeah, it will give you an API key. And the API keys in here are just a this a uh, five digit code okay sorry eight digit code okay so again we can do it again and we have the file okay so now let's do the second function let's do the function that we need to um, download the file okay so download file we're gonna need the input URL and the download path, okay? So, in order for us to download the file, we're gonna do a try catch first. Console.err. Um, what we need to do from here is we need to um, do the HTTPS dot get from the URL, okay, with our response, similar to what we had before on the top, uh, but it's going to be different because we actually need to do the streaming now, okay. So let's do first a, a case where it doesn't answer correctly, so do like a response dot status code. It's different to 200, so basically if there's any error from the request, we can do like a console dot error download failed. Okay. A response resume. No, until it, fa it finishes and then the return. If there are not any errors, we can actually do like a cons file stream. It's gonna be an fs dot create write stream using the download path. Okay, so we're gonna say like, hey, I'm gonna create a streaming process to download a specific file. Okay, and the response dot pipe is gonna be the file stream. Okay, so basically you're saying, hey, HTTPS, 
if there the if the HTTP header is a two hundred, then in your pipe, like it, then a all the information that I grab from you, it's gonna be going to the CFS create write string. Okay, so basically it's gonna download into that file. Uh, we're gonna do a file stream on end, on finish, sorry. So when that finishes, we can return something. We can, of course, oh yeah, we have to do the closing of the, of the file stream. So it says like, hey, uh, download finish. Okay. And then, yeah, basically that's gonna finish that. And then we have the owner uh, we're gonna do like a console.error got an error. Okay. As this is actually gonna be I don't know if I oh I don't know why I actually don't need this try catch here. But I do need to do a return. New promise, resolve, reject. Okay, because we actually want this to answer us if it did download or not. So let's do uh, uh, in here, resolve. Uh, let's resolve the download path. And on here, let's do a reject. Error. And in here, let's do also like a return reject fail to connect. Okay. So let's call also here the await download file, the audio to download, and let's do like a output.mp3. Okay. Let's run this out. Um, URL is not defined. It's input URL. Okay, that's the file is gonna download. We have the output here, and it finished. Perfect. So you saw how like it started to create. So we go to the output. And we have a file. Okay, which will be the same thing as if you go to this URL and you'll have like a, oh, yeah, it's a download file. Yeah, it's a 209. Okay, cool. So now you know how to get a non licensed sounds music for your videos and everything or in an API. Um, thank you for staying with me and yeah see you on the next time if you like this uh, this section if you like this uh, apis just tell me in the comments below subscribe like and everything and yeah see you on the next time bye bye